BTEC Applied Science Unit 2 and this is about the titration task which is uh, you do it in the first assignment along with the colorimetry so the titration task uh, and I've done three videos about this because it's a, a big task so this is a summary of what you're going to do um, and it will take you a while to get your head around this there's quite a few bits to it first of all you're going to prepare a standard solution of sodium carbonate you're going to use that to standardize some hydrochloric acid then you're going to use your standardized hydrochloric acid to find the concentration of some sodium hydroxide okay this will take you a while to get your head around it. It took me quite a while, believe me, especially because I'm not a chemist. Prepare a standard solution of sodium carbonate. Well, if you've done the colorimetry, you should know what a standard solution is. We're going to dissolve a known amount of sodium carbonate, about two grams in 100 mils of water and that is our standard solution we will know what its concentration is very precisely then we're going to do a titration uh, of our standard solution with some hydrochloric acid and the goal of that is we're, we're going to find out the concentration of this batch of hydrochloric acid very accurately to find out its concentration we are standardizing it that's what that means and we'll do a titration now the way that I do it your your teacher may ask you to do it slightly differently that's okay I use methyl orange for that one and you do it at least three times I'll talk a bit more about that later then now that we know the concentration of the hydrochloric acid we can do another titration to find the concentration of some sodium hydroxide and that is the goal of the whole investigation is to find this unknown concentration of sodium hydroxide don't get your hydroxides and your carbonates mixed up by the way uh, the way that I do it we'll do a titration three times at least three times using phenolphthalein and one time using a pH meter so let's look at the first one prepare a standard solution of sodium carbonate okay so we dissolve a known amount of sodium carbonate about two grams in a hundred mils of water uh, to work out the concentration of your sodium carbonate solution we're going to use these triangles uh, I've talked about these in the chemistry videos you should know how to use these you should have done some chemistry before you actually attempt these investigations okay uh, work out the molar mass of anhydrous sodium carbonate that means it hasn't got any water in it it's been in a uh, a warmer to a desiccator so we don't have to worry about water in our calculation uh, how many moles would your measured mass be and if you dis dissolve that in 0.1 decimeter cubed of water in other words 100 mils uh, what would the concentration be use this to standardize some hydrochloric acid now when standardizing the hydrochloric acid uh, I suggest again this is the, how I've just done it use 20 mils of the sodium carbonate solution uh, you should do the experiment at least three times uh, and hopefully you will get concordant results concordant means when you get results that agree with each other then that's concordant and that's the value that you use okay we're not going to take averages we do a rough one to the nearest centimeter cubed and then we do it again and again until we get answers that agree with each other they are concordant uh, looking at this equation here uh, notice that in this equation look at the sodium carbonate look at the hydrochloric acid if you work out how many moles of sodium carbonate there were in your 20 mils 
Notice that you need twice as many moles of hydrochloric acid to neutralize it. If the solutions were about the same concentration, uh, then you'd need about, well, 20 mils of sodium carbonate. You'd need about 40 mils of hydrochloric acid. And that's because of that two uh, before the HCl. Now, I'm not going to go through the method because there are several very, very good methods already on the internet. Um, and this video below, I think, is a very, very good video, and I recommend it. And it goes through the preparation of the standard solution and, and the standardization of the hydrochloric acid. So watch this video very, very carefully. This is a very good source for your method. Uh, use it to write a method for both of the above. Okay, uh, I'll talk more about the second titration in my next video. Here are some terms when you write up your work that you should know. You should know what each of these are. If you watch the video, then you will. And there you go. Hopefully that might help.